Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. For this video, I'm going to turn a chunk of walnut into kind of a planter. One of my daughters likes to plant succulents, so if she needed something that was fairly wide and not really all that deep. I got this chunk of walnut from another turner who was leaving the state and didn't want to move with it. I don't have a lot of history, but it was very dry. And as you'll see, it comes out with some amazing figure. I used a wormwood screw to mount it to the lathe. And we're going to turn it around here in just a second. I'm using a Carter & Sons 5 8 inch standard grind bowl gouge. Kind of got a glimpse of it, but you'll see there's a pretty significant crack. In turning this, I also want to give it kind of a unique profile. Kind of like a, just a fat bodied little pot. There you can see that crack. That's pretty significant. And here in a little bit, we'll go ahead and use some resin to fill it. That was actual speed. And now here it's fed up. Here I'm just flattening the bottom and getting ready to put a mortise on it. It's just a standard parting tool. Once I get out the bulk of the material, I like to use a little carbide square roughing gouge. A square rougher just to flatten it out and then I use a standard ground skewer and that also puts a tape on the edge of the mortise So what I did, I used a hot glue gun and some solo cups and made kind of a little pocket for the resin to flow into the, those big cracks. I used some Alumilite, uh, I believe it was their crafting resin. It didn't require a pressure pot. I tried to, as you can see, I used some orange because I thought it might stand out, but it really blended in quite a bit with the walnut once I put the finish on. So I might as well have used black or some other color. It doesn't really stand out very well. And right here towards the end, of this segment you could kind of see that I didn't use enough of the hot glue and it starts to develop a little bit of a leak. 
but since they're crafting resin, is kind of on the thick side. I didn't lose all that much of it. Now once the resin was thoroughly cured, I went back to work on creating the profile. You can really tell how the how it gouges, kind of leaving a shiny surface after it cuts. camera angle wasn't the best for this shot. So I'm just forming an opening and rim on the top part of the bowl. There were a few other cracks that I was able to fill with some CA glue. I have some medium thick Starbon black I like to use that on some of the cracks. Now I'm just finishing up the, the outside. I'm actually using a new tool. The Carter Axe, I believe it. But this one has an angled carbide tip made for both resin and shear scraping. And it actually does a pretty good job. I've used it on some resin, and it, you can use a standard carbide bit and not have to worry about it chipping out a lot of resin. That's the angle that's actually on the tool. Now I'm just doing the profile sanding, or the exterior sanding, go from 80 all the way up to 400. Use a little bit of water, create a spot where I can apply my brand. Been having a little bit of problems with it lately. It wasn't the best to best to on this one. It was a little bit hard to read. Just cleaning it up with some denatured alcohol. And get it flipped back over and start hollowing it out. Almost forgot. Apply a little bit of sanding sealer on the outside. Kind of gives you a little hint at the at the figure in the wood and use a little Scotch-Brite pad just to smooth it out again and blow off any of the dust right there I'm using a steel wood steel wool pad now that I got it flipped around Start hollowing it out. Still using the 5 8 inch standard grind bowl gouge. I like to start in the center and take it down in a series of steps. Then it's Stuart Bradley. Get his name correct. Or Stuart Batty. And that's how he instructs. I haven't taken one of his classes yet. I don't have to do one of these days.
once I basically get it to depth, I switch to an easy, easy wood tool hollower and start working on hollowing out the part that's in the bulge part of the bowl. Turn the head stock on the lathe. Just to open it up a little bit, make it easier to see. Also, I have a holder bowl gouge that I sharpened into a, a profile for. A, Oh, a bottom feeder, I think is what they call it. That's what I was using before this tool here. And this is the easy wood tool, carbide hollower. hollowed out, go through the same sanding process. Then I put on three coats of general finishes, wooden bowl finish. And here are some photos of the final project. Hope you like it. If you enjoyed the video, please consider subscribing. If you're already a subscriber, I really appreciate it. And I certainly enjoy reading comments and, and responding to them.